This is an EverReady number 964A battery. Uh, they were made for portable tube radio sets back in the 1940s and 50s. They're obsolete. You can't get them anymore. But I have, uh, this is an original, it's one and a half volt. Um, and so I've been wanting for a long time to make some kind of substitute that would fit uh, inside the radio and uh, look just like this. So I succeeded in making an adapter. Uh, this is the first one I made and it adapts a D-cell, an alkaline D-cell uh, to the G-cell uh, dimensions and to change batteries you just pop the D-cell out and then you stick it back in, stick the new one in, like that. And the negative terminal is uh, made from a bolt and washer uh, parts. And here's the second one I made, uh, same idea. Here I have the actual alkaline battery. An alkaline battery has about the same capacity as two of the old G-cell batteries. So there's not a problem with uh, the service time or the number of hours that you can get from one of these adapters is uh, comparable to what you would have been able to get with the original G-cells. Now, the um, I don't like to have batteries in parallel but uh, many of the old portable sets would use two of these G-cells in parallel. So what I did is I made, uh, put a little cardboard disc inside one of the adapters and that'll insulate the D-cell from the negative terminal. And with that, this now becomes a spare. It's, a, it's carrying a D-cell as a spare battery. You can carry it inside the same radio as the active uh, battery and then when the active battery wears out you just uh, pop the spare out pop the active out put the new spare battery in the active adapter and for weight balance if you're not at home it, you would just uh, stick the bad battery uh, in the old dummy won't hurt anything and put them back in and you're ready to go. That would be field replaceable uh, spare. And by having both units in the radio, it maintains the weight balance of the set. So I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Here are the batteries with the final labels installed. I'm very uh, pleased with how this also turned out. Uh, they are very good uh, facsimiles of the uh, original label. Uh, so I hope this is helpful uh, to you. Mm -hmm.